Hello, so in this tutorial, we will look into the function matrix code and query and the new function cross tabs in MVVO 12. So to create a matrix code and query, you will go to the queries option, which is located under the search icon or using the explore tab at the top. Both are absolutely fine. Now, if you're a Windows user, this will look slightly different. This will be quite new since the uh, matrix code and query hasn't changed since MVO 7. So this is the new layout, which is uh, familiar for Mac users, uh, whereby the rows and the columns are already illustrated for you. But before I get into that, just a brief overview about what the query actually does. In a nutshell, we are creating a table, a table of searches whereby we allocate what happens in the rows and what happens in the columns, and the idea is that MVivo is going to search across them. Um, at the moment, the default setting is AND, which is probably the best option. What happens in row A and in column A? Right, so to put in the options, we just have to click on the plus button, add items, and we would like to choose, let's say, our themes. One of the popular ways is to look at your uh, themes by an attribute. Now uh, I'm selecting my theme one and all the sub themes at the moment and as you can see they are listed on under the rows column. In the columns um, in the columns I can do the same and uh, this time I would like to choose my attributes. Now you will notice that I did not choose the uh, select attribute values here but rather I want to select items and uh, I'll explain that in a second. So my attributes are located under my case classifications as well as my uh, sub options for demographic data. So once I've clicked on these options, I would like to select uh, my gender values as an example here. So I've chosen my gender values and the other option uh, is the select attribute values, which is useful if you're only selecting one particular option. In other words, if I went for my age groups, you will see that I have uh, three potential options, but I can only choose one of them, uh, whether it's equal, does not equal, and so on and so forth. So if you're particularly looking for a particular value, such as 21 to 30, then this would be quite a useful option. Um, but let's not do that for now. Let's just stick to our gender against our theme one. As of before, add project if you like to save it and run query if you like to run it. Uh, all the other options are optional, I suppose. So now I've clicked on the uh, run query. Uh, on the bottom here, we see the tables. Now, the new version of MVVO 12 has updated the tabs at the top. So all the options which we used to use via the right click button, which is still there, is now nicely laid out at the top. So we can see that by default, it's coding references. How many instances uh, have you got for each of these cross sections? So in this example, uh, we have, let's say, future aspirations. There are 15 here, and these are belong to females. So there are 15 references under the code future aspirations that belongs to a female. And likewise, five for male and two for transgender. Now the other option is at the top left here. You see this the color schemes, which again is to make things a lot more accessible. As with the previous iterations of the matrix code and query, each of these cells are interactive, which means if you double click on it, it will open up and show you all the coding for those intersections. So this is a list of uh, females in the code future aspirations. And you can, if you wish to print these out or export it, and uh, these will provide very useful data if you're looking into these intersections. And moving on to the cross tabs option, which is new, it's basically a, a more friendly version of the matrix code and query, especially if you're planning to map between a theme against an attribute rather than a theme against a theme or something different. So let's take a look. Again, right click, new query, cross tabs. Now, the way it's designed is such that on the one hand, you will have the codes. And this is essentially the same as the rows or the columns, where you are encouraged to put in your themes, which we will do as demonstration. But then you don't get to choose the columns, so to speak. But instead, 
On the other side, you will have your classification and the options. So in my case, I've only got one classification called demographic data, and I've got four different attributes. So I can just choose here on the right hand side that the first categorization I would like to break my data apart is by gender. But I can look within gender, let's take a look at whether or not they are a part of an organization. So what I'm seeing here is that I will have the gender breakdown male and female, but within the male, within the female, there will also be yes and no in relation to are they membership of an organization. So it's two layers of um, categorization. So let's, take a, let's run it and take a look. So as you can see, it's basically the same as a matrix coding query, uh, but now we have a two layers here. So we have gender and within gender, whether they are yes and no. And this is extremely useful if you've got a large number of data, and this is a definite improvement uh, from the last five versions of NVivo where you do not have this option. And again, if you double click on each of these cells, it will also open up those options. So this is my review of the matrix coding query and the cross tabs option.